hello 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 and welcome to my channel i am nika if you're new here and my channel is all about home decor diys and a little splash of lifestyle so in today's video i will be sharing a diy well furniture hat with you so that if you have any you know old furniture that you're thinking about getting rid of or some pieces that you're considering refurbishing stay tuned I am going to show you how to go from this to that. Just to give you all a little backstory, this is my woman cave slash wine lounge. I am in a new construction home, and so I was just super excited and you know putting together all these mood boards and designing each room. And I initially thought that. Um, you know this gray and purple will look good together and i don't this is not to say that i think it looks awful but it was just a little too heavy for me um and so actually this hack that i'm sharing with you all today saved me thousands of dollars because i was actually about to sell these sofas they're brand new knowing that i would not get the full value for them and buy a new i was considering buying a new off-white um or white sectional um leather sectional and of course they could be upwards of three thousand to four thousand dollars and so me just painting them actually saved me a lot of money um i got this design hack idea from one of the decorating groups that i'm in and this woman painted an old brown leather sofa turquoise that's a bit extreme but um i just want you all to see the transformation here this is a super duper affordable hack and I only needed two items. So one, this leather acrylic paint that I purchased from Amazon. I will link it down below. I used nine of these, um, super duper affordable. I believe under, yeah, under $10 each bottle. And then paint brushes. I got this paint brush kit off of Amazon, but of course you can get paint brushes from anywhere and probably a little cheaper but if you love amazon shop away all right so i know y'all probably thinking i'm crazy in the first place for even considering painting a couch but please know that there was a trial and error period before i went full force so i started with the back side of one of the sofas just to make sure it was gonna give what i was hoping that it would give right so I started with this one patch and as you'll see it takes several coatings so initially this is just after one coating I was like you know this doesn't look too bad because the original there were other videos on YouTube that I, YouTube that I watched about painting leather furniture and it was taking some people like five to seven coatings so I was pretty impressed that I took this from dark gray to this cream color and I feel like the coverage was pretty good. Um, it was a good thick consistency. I have seen where some people actually thin out the leather paint by adding fabric softener. I did not do that, but the results were pretty good for the first round. Needless to say, um, the little small patch on the back of the couch, it was a success. Um, it, only, it took me actually three coatings for me to say, okay, all right, this is what I'm gonna do. So what I've done is I have started on this side of the couch. This is after one coating. So again, it takes three um, for the look that I, I, I want where I'm satisfied. So I'm just gonna show you all, um, we'll allow you all to watch me do the second coat.
So as you all can see, this is after the second coating. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait a couple of hours, and, excuse me, in order for this to dry. And then I'll come back with the third coat and you all will see how, you know, the final um, look will be. But that's the only drawback about trying this. It's going to take a while because you, yeah, you're not gonna get anywhere if you try to apply the next coat when the previous coat isn't dry. So I just wanted to give you all an update of how it looks after the second coating. Like I said, I'm pretty impressed by the overall coverage being as though the uh, starting color is a dark gray, it almost looks black. And the fact that it's only taken three coatings to pretty much get the final look is pretty impressive. However, it is still a very timely process. Okay, so another update. So the arm of the couch and this side of the sofa, this is with three coatings of the leather paint and it looks the bomb. There's only a few spots where I'm like, okay, that needs a touch up. Um, but of course I ran out of the leather paint and I'm just waiting on the additional bottles to arrive. I went ahead and ordered a lot. I just didn't want to order so much at first because I didn't know what the outcome would be. So of course this looks a little off, <laughs> uh, but just know that this is the finished product. But I just wanted to show you all how it's looking so far. I love it. Um, to give you all, let me let me just see. And yes, this is dry. So when you see me putting the pillows down, don't come for me because it's nice and dry. Uh, but I just want you all to see how the purple looks up against the gray versus the cream color. So as you can see, to me, it just looks much better than the dark. Um, but of course, the cream will look much better once I get all the coatings done. So I just wanted you all to see how it looks. Here is the finished product, y'all. I am super pleased, impressed, obsessed, all of that. I literally shocked myself with this one. Like I knew they would look a, look a lot better, but this room is just like it had a total facelift. So I really hope that today's video was motivational, inspirational in terms of you refurbishing what you already have. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. If you like stuff like this and you want to see more of these videos, hit that subscribe button because I have a lot of ideas underway.